Hello and welcome to my next build guide I'm making about Rabies Droid. Rabies Droid. This has been not so much fun as the <laughs> Fireball Zone, which is my guide before this one. How to pronounce, like, say, guide before the Edelinen. Previous, previous, yeah, my previous guide. <laughs> God damn it, how I just get blackouts of sometimes for some words but let's start with the uh, stat points as usual and I usually I try to keep my guides short as possible but this I will tell about the rabies the rabies is spraying across to like each direction like five yards in invisible bubbles and let's say invisible bubbles so like I you can see I bite one cow it's spreading across. Yeah, that's the way it's spreading in invisible bubbles. <laughs> but let's move on to the stat points. Strength 82 to able to wield the shield. I have quite many points in the dexterity to be able to have max block, so seems to be like 233 is I think I don't have many extra points in the dexterity after I did reach the max block. And the rest of the points in the vitality, this bolt has already huge amount of life. And with the orc, when we go out, 7.3k. So it is worth putting the points in the dexterity, get the attack rating high as possible, and getting nice max block. Attack rating 15k. So that's enough. And next up, there is skill points. Let's go with the elemental tree, which looks quite empty. Shape shifting tree, 20 points in the Lucanthropy, 20 points in Werewolf, and 20 points in the Rabies. Ferro Rage, Werebear, Maul, and Shockwave, just one point. When you hit, you need level 95. Oh, 97. You need level 97 to get these extra points. But one point in the bear bear is must have to be able to switch in the bear, which you need to get max buffs from the metamorphosis helmet we are using. And summoning tree 20 points in poison creeper, 20 points in the ox age, and raven and wolfie number one, wolfie number two, and heart of wolverine, and the bear just one point. That's it. This is also extra point, no need to use this to get the damage, it's not helping the rabies damage, the attack rating is already 15k, so no need, just get some extra life from the Ox Age. And next up there's items, carefully selected items, I did some testing here, so I think this is best in my mind. But let's start from the switch, CTA as usual. And Spirit in a Monarch. And as my weapon, I chose Griefs. I have seen, I did check a couple of other guides, they are using Death's Web or Plague Web, but I can tell in Plague Web, the Poison Nova overrides the damage of your rabies, which you don't want. You have 60k rabies damage, and the Poison Nova damage is like uh, 500 or something. Also, I show you what problem comes with the death web. The life stolen, it's mm, the life stolen. It's not just working with the death web, so you are gonna die with the death web. So take grief, take grief. Minus enemy poison raised and deadly strike. Damn, it's increased attack speed. Way to go. As a helmet, there is a metamorphosis. This is the reason you need to take the bear form to get the max buff from metamorphosis and chance to crushing blow i have here rabies and cannot be frozen is nice thing from here no need to use raven first high lord's rat plus one all skills increased attack speed there are the reasons to use this maybe the increased attack speed the second amulet where you can get increased attack speed is cat's eye but it it doesn't suit in this one. Storm Shield socketed it 5 5 Raybone face set. I think it's the best way to go here. Bramble, Torns Aura, faster hit recovery, but the most important thing is it's buffing poison scale damage. Let's check out. 
oh my god like 15k i didn't check it that well i will count it later how much it actually gives more damage sandstorm tracks faster hit recovery strength vitality and poison resistance the poison resistance is the most important thing here because we are using rotten fissure bk ring plus one all skills life stolen life better than soj Arachnic Mess plus one all skills, increased mana. Good, good. And the second ring is just crafted Dwarvish ring with strength and life. I'd say you can go anything here, but don't use Ravenfrost at least for the can be frozen because you're getting it from the helmet. And as Glove, Strong Alls plus some poison skill damage, which seems to be like 8,000, 8, so good to go with that one and then there is left the inventory where we have rotting fissure this is the reason we use the sand shape shifting skillers with some life and i have some life and all resistances i would say go whatever you have here some life and resistances life and resistances are the important thing and Helos, I like using 2025, it's much much cheaper than 2020, 10, and Druid Torch. That's the items. Next up there is a Mercenary. And as Mercenary I have chosen Act 1 Mercenary again, with Cure, Chains of Honor, you need to use Chains of Honor or the skin of the flayed one that your mercenary has some life stolen, otherwise it's going to die too fast. And inside as bow, get the mana. If you don't run inside, you're gonna have serious mana problems. You can also use Act 2 mercenary, but you need to use inside. Don't do not use infinity. And that's it, that's it. I think we did cover everything. If you have any questions, feedback, leave it in the comments. I will answer them for sure, sooner or later. I I have answered everything. Oh, so, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again. Goodbye.